My name's Roger Weisberg. I'm a Novo Foundation Endowed Chair in Social and Emotional Learning at the University of Illinois at Chicago, and I'm Chief Knowledge Officer of the Collaborative for Academic Social and Emotional Learning, or CASEL. I was trained as a clinical psychologist, and so I used to see kids in therapy, sometimes individually, sometimes small group, but did family therapy and parent counseling. But along the way, I learned that it's really important uh, kids' school experience, their peer experience. So I began to work uh, in combined ways, thinking about what schools could do, what parents and families could do, what communities could do to promote positive outcomes. About 20 years ago, a group of us got together at the Fetzer Institute and we founded the field of social and emotional learning and we founded the Collaborative for Academic Social and Emotional Learning. People got together and said emotional intelligence is a different way of being smart, it can be taught, schools should do it in evidence-based ways, and there should be an organization devoted to promoting children's social and emotional learning. Uh, one thing that happened along the way is within the field of uh, education, there are a lot of people who want to educate knowledgeable, responsible, caring, and contributing students. And they have all kinds of different models to do that. And there have been a variety of prevention programs and youth development programs that have been introduced to schools, but not in an integrated, coordinated way. So we brought together about 30 thought leaders in the field who were doing all these kinds of programs within the schools and basically said, what are your active ingredients? How do we make a difference in school kids and how they develop? And uh, we identified two things. One was it was important to promote children's social and emotional competence. And the other is we needed to create social and emotional conditions for uh, learning that supported kids' full development. So we uh, got together and wrote a book. And we began with nine co-authors who published a book called Promoting Social and Emotional Learning Guidelines for Educators. And that was the first time we introduced the field and began to think about how to do work from preschool through high school and began to ask the question, how could all the pieces fit together to promote kids' social and emotional development? Social and emotional learning is being implemented nationwide in a lot of schools across the country. Uh, much of the work goes on in the classroom. Teachers work to teach students five competencies. Uh, Self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, and responsible decision making. The view is if you know yourself, you can manage yourself, you know others and can empathize with others, and you have good relationship skills, and then you make responsible decisions about yourself and others, you're in good shape. So there are a variety of strategies to teach this. Sometimes there's explicit skill instruction. Sometimes the curriculum and uh, instructional approaches like cooperative learning help kids to develop these capacities. Sometimes the climate and the culture of the classroom or the school can also be influential in helping kids to develop these competencies. Um, overall, uh, you have to teach kids skills, you have to create opportunities for them to use the skills, and, you, and also you want to influence their attitudes uh, about themselves, about others, about uh, school and how to connect to school and you want to recognize them when they're doing constructive pro-social things in, in their environment.